Pirates, this is American History with Byron Sin, with your host, Byron Sin. I'm back, bitch! We're here in San Juan and Capistrano, home of California's largest pepper tree, until they cut it down in all five. Back in 1776, only a few months after Betty Frank and Tommy Jeff signed the Declaration of Institution, the foundation was laid to this magical place. You see, in 1713, Mexico's original gangster, Junipero Serra, was born. He was a Franciscan monk, the same type of monk as the guy from Franklin Goes to Hollywood. Somewhere along the line, the Spanish realized there was a whole bunch of Indians just chilling up here naked. Seeing an opportunity to sell clubs and check out some naked chicks, the Catholics and their monk homies up and down the street, El Camino so they could teach the Indians about God. They established this mission to preach the good news of Spanish slavery to the Indians and later renamed them the Juanino Indians after their favorite restaurant, Juan Burrito. By 1796, there were over 1,000 nymphomaniacs living here. Oh, neophytes? What's after hooking up the Indians with a whole bunch of European diseases, they buried about 2,000 here. Here? Here? And here, all in unmarked graves, which was a style at the time. The Indians did some stuff with cows and some boring farming, so they couldn't subscribe to my videos or read my blog. Scientists have predicted that if they did have the internet, it would have been that interesting. Hmm, stoves. In 1812, there was a huge earthquake here, which knocked down the big stone church. Due to the lack of stone ruins here in America, people often refer to this as the American White House. More famous than the ruins was that the earthquake made the last two naked natives fall on top of each other, and the missionary position was born. Ah! Because sex was banned in the mission, the town of Nuevo New York, or San Juan Capistrano, grew outside of these walls to join in the latest sex craze. Is that a Taco Bell? In the early 1820s, a Mexican garrison was stationed here in San Juan Capistrano to fight off the flood of Mormon immigrants from San Bernardino. But a mass vigilante stopped them. Thus begins the legend of Antonio Banderas. But that's a story for another time. By the 1840s, the Mexicans had lost California to the USA. At first, the gringos were gonna keep the mission open, but they soon realized the mission would be impossible. The mission is still open today, and the boring part is still used as a church. The only rule for visitors here is no spinning allowed because everyone knows that here in San Juan Capistrano is a place of swallows. Share this video or a stone church will fall on top of you! Give this video a thumbs up if you love the missionary position. Give it a thumbs down if you hate sex and America. Well that's the end of my story. There are many other California missions but San Juan Capistrano is the only missionary position that swallows. Bye con Dios mother... <laughs> do it again, just do it again. No! It's good to do that outside, dude. No. I'm not gonna do that in here anymore. That's too many, what, too many curse words. It's at a church. 69. <laughs> My full fight rate is a cup of You see, it's 1713. <laughs> I was not gonna say that. <laughs> Give me this video a thumbs up if you like the missionary position. Give it a thumbs down if you hate sex. And America. The mission is still open today and the boring part of it is still used as a church.